This is what day hospital looks like. It is day three of his IV chemo treatment. And we're here at Sick Kids. They'll only be for a few hours and then we get to go home. And then we have four more days left. Good morning. morning. It is Monday morning, March 15th. And we're here at Sick Kids at 8 a.m bright and early and we're just having some breakfast and donuts this morning and he is here for day four of his IV chemo treatment so I didn't mention in the other videos that he had changed to IV chemo treatment because um, the other one that he was on um, was really doing some damage to his liver and uh, the doctors have decided to switch him over to an IV treatment on a different chemo um, so that his liver recovers and also um, helps with his uh, cancer cells, bringing them down. Because um, when they took him off of the other chemo, they saw that his cancer cells were um, increasing again and they didn't think that him being off chemo right now would be the greatest thing so in the meantime he is on IV chemo and still waiting for a donor Good morning. It is day five of his IV chemo treatment, and we are here, and it's 8 a.m. at Sick Kids. Getting settled into our room, and we wish everyone has a good day today. Say bye, Zav. Zabi is getting his chemo treatment right now and this is how our days go. He watches TV and plays with his puzzles and Play-Doh or Kinetic Sand and we had just had breakfast and this is how we spend our days here at Sick Kids Hospital while he's doing IV chemo treatments. Say hi Zav. Hi! Hey. Hi everyone. Just being silly. Green. Yellow. I'm looking at cool. Good morning everyone. Today is day six of his IV chemo treatment. He is just watching TV and having breakfast. Today is Wednesday, March 17th, and it is around 9 a.m. And we have one more day to go. Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, March 18th. It is his day seven. So it's his last dose of IV chemo treatment today. And we are happy um, that this is the last day. It's been seven days, seven long days, early mornings, early trips to sick kids. And it's been quite exhausting. So you can imagine balance balancing home life and hospital life. He is doing well on this IV chemo treatment and um, we cannot be more hopeful that things are going well at this point. 
uh, I'd also like to take this time to thank everyone again for their love and support during this tough time that uh, we're going through as a family. Um, we also like to thank everyone again for donating to our GoFundMe page um, and also sending me and Steven something. Um, we are still not working. Both of us are at home with the kids and I'm with Zavi most of the time at Sick Kids Hospital. And we just like to thank you again for all your love and support during this time and your continuous love and support during this time. Please keep Xavier in your prayers and in your thoughts. And uh, we hope to hear some really good news soon. And uh, we have a long day ahead of us today, so wish us luck. Um, not looking forward to it, but a lot of necessary appointments. And we hope you have a good weekend. Hi, everyone. We got to like soon. We are here hey, back at Sick Kids, hey, and it's hey, Friday, hey, March 19th. Hey, 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 Xavier just did his uh, blood work, and we're just waiting on his results. We hope that everything goes well and that he doesn't need any platelets or transfusions this weekend because we will be back on Monday for our next appointment. He is doing well and in stable condition for now and um we have some news to share and that uh, i will probably film another video for that once we're at home but he is doing well otherwise on his iv chemo treatment that he just had and uh, we hope everyone have a good weekend it is beautiful outside and we also hope that everyone keeps safe in the meantime as well. And we thank everyone for all their well wishes and prayers for Xavier. Thank you and we'll keep everyone updated. Hi everyone. Just a quick update on our last appointment at Sick Kids Hospital. It was um, a long week, seven days of IV chemo treatment. Had to be at Sick Kids early in the morning. Woke up really early to get to Sick Kids really early and start his treatments and then tests or doctor visits that we had to go to. Um, so it's been an exhausting long week and we're just glad to finally enjoy the weekend or a little bit of weekend that we could. And um, so last Thursday, everything was fine. It was his last day of IV chemo treatment. Friday, we got called back in and we didn't think we would had to go back up to sick kids, but we got called back in for some blood work. The doctors wanted to know if he was still doing okay in the meantime. And um, his blood work came back and it wasn't the greatest, but they're trusting that the chemo in his system will um, make him feel better or make something in his body or the cancer um i guess um or control or stabilize the cancer for now they're hoping that the chemo in his body will um do its thing in the meantime and until they see us again on monday so we are back at the kids on monday and we have another week of things to do at Sick Kids, and we also have some news that we would like to share uh, that we have just recently received from the doctors and um, that they have been doing in the background since all this time that Xavier has been getting chemo treatment. It's mostly to keep him stable, keep him in good health and condition until they find a definite answer. And um, I think this is all the answers that we need. And I'll be making another video and going through that. But in the meantime, please register, please become a donor, please share his story. And um, Lily is just crying up there. Um, 
Hi everyone, so it is Sunday, March 21st, and we are back at Sick Kids. He um, started showing some bruising and bleeding, and uh, we came right back to Sick Kids uh, this Sunday, and um, we had such a beautiful morning. Um, doing a photo shoot this morning with Josie. Um, just want to capture some moments with Xavier. And since it was a beautiful weekend, um, we wanted to do that um, just before he gets unwell and looks unwell. So we just wanted to have those kind of memories of um, us as a family. And um, He's doing good, like he's himself, except for he's experiencing these things um, that come with leukemia. Um, so they told us to come back to sick kids and we are waiting on his platelets right now and he's gonna get some because they did some blood work and his numbers aren't that great. And we knew that Friday and the doctors wanted to wait to see what uh, happens during the weekend since we'll be back on Monday but soon enough we are back at the kids and um, we just hope that he'll be okay after the platelets which he usually is and um, we have another week ahead of us and we hope everyone has had had a good weekend and we'll keep everyone posted Say hi, everyone. No, I'm eating. He is enjoying his cake pop, and um, see, he's just his same usual self. It's just when he's down because of the sickness, he's down, and but otherwise, he's in good spirits. Hi everyone, just a quick update. It is around close to midnight, um, Sunday, March 21st, and we just got home. It was a crazy week, and um, we're glad to be home. Just put uh, Zabi down, and he's sleeping, and he's resting, and he's exhausted, and um, He's doing okay. Um, the platelets are doing its thing. So um, let's just hope he recovers quickly. And um, so he's stable. And what I mean by stable is that the doctors are doing the best they can to um, keep his blood counts at a good number while um while in the meantime they get the donor or the transplant process going in the background as we are going through the days so it is extremely important that you do register and become a donor if you can um, if you fit all the requirements and um, you become a donor for someone who is in need a child that is in need um, and you can save someone's life and that is really meaningful so i um, encourage everyone to keep sharing xavier's story um, so that he can find a potential donor or other kids can have potential donors um, especially in the um, Asian community we need to spread the word on becoming a donor a registered donor uh, there is a really big need for Asian mixed or Asian backgrounds to be donors and um, there's not enough and it's truly sad and we really really need to get that message out there 
for the young generation, especially during um, this time. COVID has really um, slowed everything down and um, we just need to keep that in mind that, you know, life still goes on, but yes, COVID does slow things down, but, you know, people or kids who are sick, their lives still go on and they need your help. And so if you can, please um, share Xavier's story, share it to your friends and family, and just spread the word because it's really important that we help these kids who need donors and kids in the future who need donors and stem cells um, so that they can get better. So with Xavier, he needs a donor or um, a stem cell donor and chemotherapy to get better and hopefully um, be the answer and cure to his JMML.